Well, there's now on at the cinema. Well, nothing that's new and worth watching. <laughs> we could just go into town, do a bit of window shopping. Window shopping? Yeah, why don't you just both go and get your hair done while you're at it? Do you like football? Yeah, I play for my school. There you go. Take him up the red rag for a kickabout. <clears throat> Dylan, I could pour you a pint, I could sing you Abba's entire back catalogue, or I could knock you up a fabulous pair of undercrackers, but kickabouts, I don't really do them. Hey, well, it's time you got started then. Look, I'll come with you. I could do with the exercise. Have you got a football here? No. Have you ever played football? No. There's an old one of mine and Jason's up in the attic. I saw it when I was up there. I'll go and get it. You sure you don't fancy just having your hair done? How are you feeling? Oh, never better, thanks, yeah. How's the old, uh... uh thank you. Less of the old. Nothing that a bag of frozen peas don't sort out. Hopefully. Oh! If it helps, it was a really good save. Oh. Well, to be honest, Dylan... I wasn't really trying to save it, I was just trying to run away from it. Where on earth did you learn to kick a ball so hard? Should be made up, he's a really good player. I am made up, actually. So much so that once this bag of frozen peas is thawed out, I'm going to take me and you for some food. My treat. And don't worry, we don't have to go to the cafe. All right, sound. I'm just going to give me more call. Ah, oh, OK. Oh! Don't tell her about the, uh... Like I would. You could with him. You mean that? Yeah. Especially seeing as you don't even live together. I don't know. I just wish I was more of a dad-type dad. What, you mean like mine was? Well, not like yours. Yours scarpered when you were really young. Exactly. Never saw him, never heard from him. Not a single birthday or Christmas card, nothing. It's all right, you don't live in the same house or city even. But Dylan knows you care about him. Which makes you a better dad than mine ever was. And lots of others that I know. Even if you have pants at football. You can be quite thoughtful at times, you, you know that? Yeah. Just don't tell anyone. Got a reputation to think of. How's your mum? I can't get hold of her, so I'll call my girlfriend instead. Everything all right? Not exactly. Just split up with me. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Did she say why? She she fancied this other lad at school. She's going to start seeing him instead. Oh. That's rotten. How long have you been going out with her? Two months. Two months? I mean, at your age, that's like two years. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was your age once. You all right? Not really. I liked her a lot. <sighs> well, we've all been there. I mean, if I had a pound for every time I'd been dumped, I'd have £17.50p. 50p? Well, one was kind of mutual. So does it get any easier, then? Well, it's not the nicest feeling in the world, no. But, you know what? Sometimes it's for the best. How'd you figure that? Well, you were obviously going to split up with her sooner rather than later because she wasn't the right one for you. So that means that you're that one step closer to finding, hopefully, the person that is right for you. And what if there isn't anyone like that for me? Dylan, trust me, there will be. Because you're kind and funny and clever and good-looking. It's in the genes, obviously. <laughs> anyway, you don't need to worry about any of that. You're young. You've got years and years to go out with all sorts of girls and have all sorts of fun. Please, just don't get any of them pregnant. <sighs> fun. Sorry. Listen, why don't we go out for some food, like we said, yeah? Or we could just go for a walk and clear your head a bit. Yeah, all right. And thanks. <laughs>